welcome my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys uh, this is a spell that I've been working with a client for a while now um, if you're looking for to create any type of separation any type of banishment from a particular person um, meaning uh, to remove a person from your life or to separate them uh, from a third party a person that's gotten involved in your relationship this could be done for uh, you know just people that keep meddling in your life and it's just not you've done it all basically and it's not working out this spell is for you I hope you guys enjoy and now on to the video hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this is a spell that is going to help you remove completely remove and banish a specific person uh, from your life now this can be done if you've broken up with someone and they just cannot seem to leave you alone this is the spell for you this can also be done for separations of third parties for separation and banishment of a specific person that keeps coming in between you or your partner. This can also be done uh, to completely banish a person that could be violent, a person that could be, um, that you're basically scared uh, for your safety. This can be done as well. Now, this is it's very simplistic, but it's very heavy energy. So I highly encourage you guys to be prepared. Make sure to cleanse yourself before doing the ritual and after doing the spell work. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the spell. So what you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing a jar. Okay. Um, you're going to be needing a jar. You're going to be needing a candle. Uh, you can use a chime candle for these. This is, keep in mind, this is a seven-day ritual, okay? So with that being said, you're going to be using one candle each day, okay, of the chime candles. Now, you're also going to be needing a stand, um, a stand candle, uh, which is basically to begin or commence the spell work that is going to be done. You only need this one, and you're only going to be burning it um in the beginning of the spell work like i said okay so you're going to be needing seven chime candles for each day um a i think these are taper candles if i'm not mistaken a tape a black taper candle you're going to be needing black salt now what you're going to be using for powders or oils if you have any type of destruction, banishment, or separation oils, that would be something that you would be introducing into the, into the jars. Like you guys know, I do all my uh, oils and I do all of my, um, pretty much I do everything. <laughs> so I'm not going to be using uh, any, you know, powders that have been made or anything like that. But again, if you guys, obviously, if you guys don't know how to do any of your own oils and powders, then I would highly encourage you, like I said, to use banishment, separation, or destruction oil or powder. Uh, you can also make sure to integrate some uh, chili powder as we want to make this explosive. And uh, black pepper is also extremely explosive for these types of spell works. Now... Like I said, I'm not going to be using that because I will be using my separation oil. Uh, this is an oil that I do um, that I do uh, for my clients' work. It's extremely explosive. It is extremely. It's just really, really, you know, very, very strong. And like I said, this is uh, separation. Um, separation oil and I'm also going to be using my war water I'm not sure if you guys remember I did uh, teach you guys in a previous video how to uh, do war water and as you guys can see this is the war water that we did as you can see it is extremely dark extremely like uh, black you know um, this is war water you guys very very powerful 
It is very explosive. If you do actually do the war water that I taught you guys how to do in a video, I would highly encourage you guys to keep it very protected and away from anyone, uh, you know, coming in contact with it because it is extremely explosive. Um, so anyways, I'm going to be using my separation oil and my war water for this particular spell. But like I said, if you're doing this and you don't have that, at your disposal, then you're going to be using destruction, separation, or banishment oil or powders um, and integrating some chili powder to make it very explosive and very quick as well as black pepper. I'm not going to be using that because like I said, we have this ready to go. Okay, so as you guys can see here, you're going to be needing a tray as well. And what we do here is you're going to be casting down a sigil that is a banishment sigil so if you guys can see here we already have that um, before the preparation of this video I had already uh, consecrated everything I have already drawn down the sigil and I've already invoked uh, the spirits that I'm going to be working with so um, if you've never done this I highly encourage you guys to uh, perhaps try out a different spell video uh, for banishment or separation because this is extremely powerful like I said you have to make sure that when going into it you're protecting yourself once you're done I would highly encourage you guys to again cleanse yourself ground yourself shower if possible uh, so that you can completely remove any heavy energy that may be lingering around as well as uh, cleansing with palo santo or some sage uh, the space where you worked at Okay, all right, so without further ado, let's get into the spell work. So what you're going to do here is you're going to be drawing down on the plate or tray that you're working, the banishment sigil, as you guys can see here. It's very simplistic. So if you can see here, it's, um, it's like a cross, basically. It's like a cross and the this one going down at the very end, you can see that there's uh, triangles and this one that is going across is a circle okay and then we're gonna draw uh, a triangle here triangle here a, a circle here and a circle there okay basically the way you see it that's how you're drawing it down okay all right so without further ado of course as I've always told you guys when dealing with any type of candle or tools that are gonna go into the spell work I highly encourage you guys to prepare them a lot of people rush and or don't prepare them, uh, don't consecrate them, don't cleanse them, don't nothing, and then wonder why you guys don't get results. Use common sense, put your focus, energy, and intention into what you're doing, and you're going to get results. It's that simple. All right? Okay. So what you're going to do here is you're going to get a wide piece of paper with absolutely no lines. You're going to write down at the top, uh, your partner or the person uh, that has this connection with this other person that you're the target that you're trying to remove so in this case I would put um, the partner of my client here first name last name date of birth and at the bottom you're gonna put the person to separate or to banish so you would put the third party or the lover or whatever first name last name date of birth now if you guys don't have the information of the person that you want to banish or remove, uh, especially if it's a third party situation, you don't need to put their first name or last name or date of birth unless you're the third party. OK, so what I mean by that is all you have to put is lover or third party at the bottom. That's all you have to do. If you yourself are dating someone that is married or that is dealing uh, or has a committed relationship and you're the third party or the person that came afterwards, this spell is not for you. Please listen and take that to heart. If you do this and you're the third party, and you, regardless of how you see it, if you're the third party doing this, your life is going to be completely turned upside down. I'm putting it out there and letting you guys know. If you're the third party, or you're dealing with someone that is taken, this spell is not for you. Okay? All right. So once you do that, once you write down your partner's first name, last name, and date of birth, 
and the lover's information, uh, first name, last name, date of birth, or just lovers if you don't have that information. Um, let me do this for showing purposes to show you guys very quickly. All right, so this is going to be partner info. And then... All right, so it's going to look like this. Partner's info and then third party at the bottom. All right? Okay. So, before we begin, give me one second. Let me get some matches. For this uh, candle in particular, we're going to light this before we begin. And you're going to draw down the sigil and you're going to say out loud benevolent spirit benevolent spirit I ask you to step forward and be present in this ritual that is about to commence I call upon the spirit of management so that you may step forward you know my heart my mind and my spirit I ask you to assist me in empowering this spell and you're going to say for the your partner or the person that you're trying to remove from the third party. Um, I ask for to be able to remove the blindfold that is upon his eyes. Let him see her for truly who she really is. Let them bicker, let them fight. Let them argue. Let them not be able to stand one another for they are not in the right to be. Okay. Once that is done, you're going to get the piece of paper and you're going to really put your energy and effort when doing this. You're going to rip the paper and you're going to say, just like I ripped this paper, I rip your relationship. And you're going to put them facing against each other. Okay? So they're going to be facing each other. I mean, facing against each other back to back. And you're going to fold it. And fold it again. And fold again. Okay? Once that is done, you're going to put it in the can uh, sorry not in the can in the jar all right so once you have that what you're going to do is you're going to put this on top of the sigils now i'm doing two different works we got more than a few people uh, getting involved and we're trying to completely remove them and get them out our way for my client so Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to add some holy water. You're going to add some holy water, consecrated water or moon water to your jar. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. And I'm going to do the same over here. Obviously, you're only going to do it once because you're doing this for yourself. Okay. So once that is done, we're going to introduce the oils. Now, the, the water that you're introducing or the holy water that you're introducing is in somewhat shape, uh, in some shape, way, or form. You're basically baptizing the papers of each one of their perspective parties, meaning um, you're, 
pretty much pulling their energy towards these jars putting the oils water and oil does not mix so and then you add depending on the oils that you're going to be using now um, my separation oils is extremely powerful just as powerful it is absolutely stinky but anyways okay so i'm going to Okay. Now on to the next. All right, now we're going to go with the war water. And like I said, if you guys don't know how to do war water and you're interested, uh, definitely go to that video. I'll probably link it in this video uh, so you guys can go and learn how to do that. Uh, war water is extremely powerful and uh, it's particularly used when witches are um, going at it uh, to completely destroy your enemy. Okay, so I have to be a little more careful with this one only because Oof, my goodness. They are not going to last a freaking week. All right, so I'm going to put this here. And this is the part where you would put your oils, your powders, whatever it is that you're going to be using. Once that is done, what we're going to do is now we're going to, uh, give me one second. Okay, so once that is done, you're going to close it and you're going to say, just as I close this jar, I seal, just as I close this jar, I seal your destiny. You will no longer deal with one another. You will no longer be able to stand one another. You will not be able to have communication or communicate correctly. Everything that they do will become an immense disturbance. Everything that they say or do becomes an annoyance to you till you're no longer being able to deal with one another and completely walk away from each other. Okay, now I'm going to close this one. Just as I close this jar, I seal your destiny. You will no longer be able to. All right. So once that is done, what we're going to do is. Okay. So this one's this one. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the oils or um, whatever it is that you're using, the oil or powder. You're going to be adding some to. To the chime candles and you're going to light it I'm going to pour some wax on the lid so that it can be able to stand dry too quick okay 
and I'm going to do the same. You can do this, uh, you can do this spell, um, any, you can do this spell, any, uh, any moon face, you don't need a particular moon face, but it is ideal to do it when the moon is waning or when it's dark. Okay, for those of you guys that don't know, when the moon is waning is right after the full moon has passed, or when the moon is dark, meaning when it's, um, when it's missing from the sky, uh, which is just about four or five days before the new moon. Um, that is when it's ideal to do this type of spell work, only because uh, this is, like I said, obviously to banish. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna let the candles completely melt, okay? Once, the, once it's melted, um, we're going to turn this uh, this candle off. Also, to note, as quickly as this candle is going to burn, that's how quickly your results are going to be. Now, let's say these candles burn within 20 minutes. Within those 20 minutes, if this candle is completely extinguished, then you don't need to light that candle anymore or any other candle other than your taper candles. Remember, this is a seven day ritual. So you're going to burn seven taper candles each, uh, sorry, one taper candle each day until it gets to the seventh day. Okay. All the taper candles are going to be burnt on top of the jar. So you're going to let this completely extinguish and melt. Once that is done, the next day you're going to do the same thing. You're going to light the candle on top of that melted wax of the previous candle and you're going to keep doing that for seven consecutive days once the once the seven days are over and the the last candle has burnt what you're going to do is you're going to get a either a knife uh could be a knife could be scissors could be whatever it is that you want to use ideally a nail um, you're going to get the nail and you're going to scrape the, the you're going to basically scrape the wax off of the lid, not completely just to break it. Once you break it, you're going to say out loud, just like I break this wax, I break this relationship or this connection. You are no longer allowed to deal with one another. Once that is done, you're going to put it in a black bag and toss it away from your home. Ideally, in a very stinky dumpster or in a very uh, nasty, smelly trash, okay? Just make sure not to toss it in your home, okay? I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Like I said, I try to do it as quickly as possible. It may seem very simplistic, but it's extremely explosive, extremely powerful, and you are dealing uh, with higher spirits, so... Again, like I said, if you are unsure, if you're uneasy, then don't do this spell. Go do another separation spell. I have a few of those, a ton of those on my video, on my channel. So you'll be able to find one that is much more suited for you. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.